Hey guys and welcome to part 14 of the Chance Family Let's Play. So I've played just one night off camera and so many things happened and I have a lot of things to tell you. So first of all, because since the last part, Laundry Day Stuff Pack came out, I've invested with Willow and Natal into some dryer and washing machines. We also have a hamper here. So I've redid a little bit the bathrooms, but just it's a really small change. And I think the bathroom actually is better this way. So yeah, this is this these are the changes that I've made in the bathroom in the house, otherwise nothing nothing else has changed. But Going through Natal's character values, as you can see, he's in range to earn the emotional control trait, the responsible trait, and the compassionate trait. And all of this happened because when I stopped recording the last part, I had him go on a jog to clear his mind, and he had, I think, the emotional control trait in range to, to be earned. First of all, I would like for you to go and get some leftovers. And when he came back home to Willow's, uh, he actually asked her an advice, an advice, sorry, and she answered, and this gave him the compassionate trait. So hopefully nothing of this changes until five days. This way, <laughs> when he will age up to a young adult, he will have those three traits, which is really nice. Willow, right now, she's still sleeping. I've had her yesterday. Why is that here? Oh my god. Oh, that's true. We still don't have... A bin to put that in. Uh, anyway, so Willow, once you wake up, I would like for you to go and use the bathrooms and maybe mop this up. Oh, and she's bored. She needs to hang out a little bit with the... How are they called? The good timers. Maybe we can do that tonight, actually, because she's really bored. And I think it's the second time that I've played with them that she's bored like that. So yeah, maybe hang, them, hang, hang with them a little bit more. So yeah, I've had Willow work on her job so that means that she filled out some reports i don't think though that she's going to have a promotion today but hopefully she will but yeah natal had a nice weekend with his father willow is really happy that natal has spent some time with his father and she actually has been spending some time with bella as well they've been talking together and she's been willow has been talking to bella a lot about richmond and how he's changed since since the last time they were together, actually, when they were a couple, how how he has changed and how he... Wow, that was a huge jump. I don't know if you saw this, but wow. <laughs> King Guy is an acrobat. So yeah, she, she's she been thinking a lot about Richmond lately and how he has changed. And maybe it would be nice also for her to spend some time with Richmond. I think Willie really would like to spend some time with Richmond as well, too see how much he has changed and also she's been thinking a lot about Dan and as expected she's kind of worried that maybe she's going too fast into this relationship. She doesn't really know right now how she really feels about him. Of course Dan I'm pretty sure that he wants to be in a relationship with Willow, that he wants to have to work things out you know. While Willow she doesn't really know if she wants something serious or she or if she just wants to have fun. Anyway, that was the little bit of talking that I did there. Anyway, so we know she's gonna go to work pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do actually is resume once Natal comes back from school. This way I think he can go and spend some time with with Amy at the park because for his aspiration he just needs to reach level the level three in the logic scale. So I was thinking that they could go both in a park to play some chess together and hang out together. I think that could be cool and I don't think they have any school project they have to work on. And look at that, there's the clothes falling into the hamper, that's so cool. But anyway, I will resume once Natal comes back, comes back from school. Alright, so Natal is back home from school and he needs some fun and he also returned home with a school project that he needs to work on. So we're gonna go to the park with Amy I think, we can hang out with the buddies another time. Oh. <gasps> oh no! That means that he's going to lose emotional control. I don't want him to lose that though. Oh my god, no. Well, anyway. We're gonna go through this. It's gonna be okay. So what we're gonna do is travel with Natal and Amy. We're gonna go to a park. I don't know which park though, because I would like for both of them to work on their project, but also or actually play some game of chess and then work on the project together. 
Oh, you know what? We can actually go to the library. Where is the library? I think this is it. Because there's the chess table over there. And maybe we can go to the park afterwards for both of them to work on the project. Or maybe we can work on that later. We can work on that later. Alright, so we're just arrived at the library. And Natal is feeling embarrassed. I don't know why. Uh... Oh, become best friends. Oh no, that's true. We are already best friends with... Ask about who. I don't want them to leave each other. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. Well, anyway, let's talk about it, Endiness. And yeah, I would like for him to maybe s tell a self deprecate. What is that? Deprecating joke? Alrighty then. Awful school day. Dropped a tray in front of everyone in the cafeteria today. How embarrassing. Oh, that must be. That must be really embarrassing. That never happened to me, thankfully. Alrighty then, so let's go and play together over there. This way this is going to work on his logic skill, but also on his fun. And hopefully this is going to increase their their relationship together. And do you hear those birds? Wow, there must be so many. I just love this place. When Get Together first came out, this was where I was always playing. In this kind of old town place because that was the closest we were to a city and then when city living came out I was just always over there I mean we're still over there with Willow and Natal but yeah I just loved Windernburg this place just reminds me so much of where I grew up so I feel at home when I play in that world I was also thinking giving Willow a makeover because she's been in the same outfit since the beginning of this let's play and I feel like her character has evolved since the beginning of the let's play. So I would like to maybe change things a little bit and give her some new outfits. And I was also thinking that now that Natal is going through a phase, maybe he can change his style because I said this when I first gave him this makeover when he aged up to a teenager. I gave him a lot of outfits that were looking just like his father. And even though his relationship with his father is way better than it was before, I think he would like to be different than he is, you know, different than his father. And I was imagining maybe another style for Natal, so maybe I will make a makeover video of Natal and Willow. I'm trying to think of how I would like Willow to be, but yeah, I will probably make a makeover of Willow and Natal. And there are the, there's the humor and hijinks festival in town. That's cool. And Willow brought home 424 simoleons. That's nice. What is that? Does the Human Hijinks Festival sound interesting to you? I hear the teas there are pretty crazy. Well, I think Natal just reached level 2 of the logic skill and his fun needs is way better and he's kind of hungry. So I think we can go there, but we're gonna bring Amy with us. So yeah, we're gonna go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. I mean, it's been a little while since I've been there. I think the last time I went to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, it was with Willow and Natal was still a child. So yeah, I think it's been a pretty long time that we've been there. And for the first time, Natal is going to experience the Humor and Hijinks Festival. This is kind of interesting. There we are. So there's already some fireworks. Well then. So I would like maybe for them. Oh, look at that. It's Richmond. You know what? Let's go and hurt dad. Uh, Mock Uncle Ed. Oh. <laughs> what happened to Richmond? Oh my god. Poor guy. I would like for Nadal to hug his dad. Um, hug lovingly to console him from having been, I don't know, burned over. And then we're gonna, all of us, so Alexander, Ain, Amy and Natal join the pranksters, just for funsies. And this is actually what we need to do for this, for this gathering, we need to drink some tea. Come on, Natal. Oh my god, poor Richmond. Poor guy. He's a little bit unlucky. This is actually a trait. The lucky and unlucky traits are traits that I would like to see back in The Sims 4. I would be so happy to see that back. Okay, so are Amy and Alexander going to join the pranksters? That would be so nice. So we need to be a little bit mischievous. 
Alrighty then. Oh, it's done! So, let's go and talk a little bit to Amy. Imply Jugster Sabotage and... Sing the Prankster theme song? We're gonna do that with Alexander. Sing the Prankster theme song. It's one of my favorite interactions. Oh my god, he already needs to use the bathrooms. Ugh, that's annoying. Well then, we're gonna go here, use the bathrooms. So, Natal, you need to go and use the bathrooms. You can come back and be a little bit mischievous. And maybe this is actually something that gets suits that can suits perfectly his face because he's kind of mean. And mis the mischief skill, even though for me it's not really mean, it's closer to being mean than being nice. So, yeah, I think I think this is something that suits pretty well his face. Where did Amy go? Oh, she's over there. Because I really want for Natal to talk to her. I think he really wants to spend some time with her. As I said, I think in the last part or the previous part, Natal has been feeling some new feelings that he doesn't really know what they are for Amy. You know, he's 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 never felt anything like this for anyone. So he doesn't really know how to to act on this. He doesn't know. What he knows is that he wants to spend way more time with Amy. All right. Oh, she's coming back. Perfect. No need to look for her. She was looking for us. So, Amy, we're going to imply Juxter's sabotage. And then, argue about school? No. Oh, we can actually take a picture together and the pranksters are in the lead. If we win, we can actually earn some money, which we need. Even though we know has been making way more money than she ever did before. Uh, take a photo with... Let's go and take a photo with Amy. Oh, we can also take a picture with his dad. We can do that. But yeah, she's been earning way more money than she ever did. But we still need to make more money. I would love for, for them to, at some point, go and live in a house. I would love that. But you know, a pretty small house, pretty basic. Oh, they look beautiful. There we go, and he acquired the photography skill. And then I would like for you, Natal, to take a picture with your father, and then we can take a picture with Alexander, even though I would love for both of them to spend maybe a little bit more time, just the two of them, you know, together. Maybe this way Natal can speak about what he's feeling about, or actually for Amy. I think he feels the need to talk to someone about what he's feeling. Oh my god, look how much they look alike! But Nadal has his mother's nose. Uh, so where is Amy? We're gonna take a picture with Alexander later. We can see him on a, in another time. Gossip. Let's go and gossip to Amy. Oh, is Alexander interested as well in Amy? Oh, that would be actually kind of interesting, but awful for the boo the two the two best friends. Show off selfie. If Alexander has also a crush on Amy, that would be awful for their relationship. For Natal and Alexander's relationship. That would be so awful for both of them. They would have to talk this out. Oh my god. I don't know for Alexander to have, or actually for Natal and Alexander to go through something that harsh. We'll have to see. What's that spot? I think this is a new interaction. I've never seen that before, but I've been seeing it a lot lately. And then I think we can go and make a flirtatious joke. You know, as I've been saying since the beginning, he's been feeling a few different... A new, something new for Amy. He, he doesn't really know what this is. That was kind of mean, though. <laughs> oh my god, they have a romance bar. That's interesting. Let's get to know her maybe a little bit more. Oh no, he's hungry. Hmm, that's interesting. So maybe she also has a crush on him? I don't know how to go with that, really. This is becoming kind of a romance triangle there. It's kind of weird. We'll have to see how this goes. But yeah, Natal, he doesn't really know what his feelings are. You know, he's not really the kind of person to be able to identify his feelings right away. He needs to... You know, his way, for him, for example, science, mathematics, all that kind of stuff, it's logical, so it's simple for him. But when it's, when it comes to feelings and what you feel, 
and relations, relationships with people, he doesn't really know how to act on that. You know, he doesn't know. For him, it's not logical, so it's not easy for him. So all the feelings he has for Amy, he doesn't really know how to go with them. He doesn't know how to act on that. He will have to think about it and probably talk to this to Alexander and see how Alexander rea reacts about what he's going to say to him. So Amy is there, I don't know where Alexander is. Oh my god, it's Richmond! <laughs> what are you doing, Richmond? <laughs> Yay! So we won a voodoo doll, fireworks and 500 simoleons. And if we sell everything, we can make even more money. And everyone is watching at the fireworks. That's nice! Okay, so we've won! And we've, we've had a nice night tonight. Uh, can you maybe imply to sabotage as well? I know that we've won, but we can still spend some time with his father. And reveal a deep secret. Maybe he would like to know what his father has to say about what he's feeling, you know? Talk to him about his feelings for Amy and see what his father is going to say, even though... I don't think Richmond would be the best person to ask advice from. Especially on that subject. But maybe he's going to feel better after this. And flash for his eyes as well. I mean, he's a funny guy. Natalie is a funny guy. He likes doing that kind of thing. Sing the prankster theme song. Let's go for this one. I love this chick. Who is she? Rania Munib. I like her. Look at her hair. She's... I really like her for some reason. I think I'm going to save her into my game. She's so nice. Look at her. She's... I like her. <laughs> She's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did previously. I'm going to wait for everything to, to disappear before leaving this place. And then we're going to go back to, to the apartment. Though, I think Willow is going to be kind of angry. I mean, look at that. She's uncomfortable. She's so bad. <laughs> Probably because she's worrying about Natal. Oh my god, he's going to be... she's going to yell at him. Ask about Woohoo. Let's go and ask about Woohoo. Let's go for this. I think Richmond would be really comfortable, you know, with that subject. He wouldn't feel awkward or anything. For him, this is natural. This is something that everybody do at some point in their life. He doesn't see, think this is something awkward. But what we're going to do right now is send Natal back home and see how Willow is going to react about Natal being so late. I mean, he didn't warn her or anything. He didn't send her a text. I didn't even think of sending her a text. Thankfully, there is no curfew. So we're okay for now. But let's see how Willow is going to react on Natal's being late. Alright, so we're back at the apartment. Where is Willow? Oh, she's so, she's awful. She's feeling so bad. Oh my god. She's not able to take care of herself. Uh, Natal, let's go here. Oh my god, it's one in the morning, almost two in the morning. What is Willow going to say to Natal? What can she say, actually, as a parent? Ask about face, help needs, influence too. She cannot yell at him for anything. Can she give him a talk to? This deep conversation? Lecture about responsibilities. Yes. I think we know she would... You know, she saw that Natal was late. She was worried, of course, as we, as we can see with all of her needs there. But she's been young as well, and she doesn't want to be as strict as her parents were when she was young. And she doesn't want to stop Natal from going out. All she wants is for him to warn her when he's going out. That's why she's lecturing him about responsibilities. But she's also thinking that Natal is now a teenager, and the woohoo talk is something that she will need to have with Natal. So Natal, first of all, go to sleep. You're really, really tired. Sleep. But yeah, she's thinking that it will soon be the time of giving him the woohoo talk. She doesn't know that Natal asked about woohoo to his father, but maybe Richmond didn't give Natal all the information he needed, so maybe Willow, she's going to have this serious conversation with him because he's a teenager and this is important. This is an important conversation to have with a teenager. So she's thinking about this, so I think maybe tomorrow or in the next few days she's going to have this conversation with him. But soon enough, she's going to talk to him about this. Uh, I don't know if she's going to have a promotion tomorrow because we will not have enough time to fill out her the reports, so we'll have to see. 
So yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is take care of Willow's needs and everything and I will resume tomorrow. Alright, so Natal is back home from school. He's once again embarrassed because he actually fell asleep before a big test. So first of all, do I have move objects on? Now I have. Uh, because I would like for him to work on his project with Amy. So we're going to invite Amy over. Mm. Invite to hang out at current lot. We're going to invite Amy. Where is she? She's always way far behind. Anyway, we're going to work on this cool project together. And this is going to be a great opportunity for Natal to spend some time alone with Amy. And this is something that he's been wanting to do for quite some time. So first of all, let's go and hide from everyone. Let's get, let's get your confidence back. Oh my god, Amy is angry. Oof. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, they're going to be working here together. And I think once Willow comes back from from work and not from school, I'm going to have her spend some time with the good timers. So this way she's not going to she's not going to be bored anymore. Yay, she's feeling better now. I don't know. Compliment her appearance. Because she looks really great. I think uh, that I'm also going to give her a quick makeover with some of the new outfits that were added yes. with Laundry Day. I think those outfits would suit her style perfectly. And then, Rival Crush? No. He doesn't even know right now that this is a crush. But maybe ask a risque question. And he reached Handiness level 3. What are they working on, actually? An electricity experiment. Oh my god! What happened? Stop everything. And let's go back to what you're good at. Telling jokes. Knock knock joke. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let's go back to the jokes. She's so embarrassed now. Poor Amy. Can we discuss her embarrassed mood? Boast about messing around. No. Oh, that was just there. What are you doing? Oh my god, no! And then tell an engaging story. And you, yes, you're going to apologize. So Willow, how are you feeling? Uh, you're a little bit hungry, so you know what? Let's go and serve some dinner. Uh, garlic noodles, it's vegetarian safe. Perfect. Oh nice, you accepted our apologies. Discuss logic puzzles. I think we're going to stop a little bit for... For the romance for now. That didn't go well. Usually at first when you're first flirting with someone and it's the first time you've ever flirted with anyone, it usually goes badly. <laughs> That's exactly what happened with Natal here, so... Alright. Why Willow went to the bathrooms to make food? That's weird. Oh my god, I think Kinga is afraid of everything in the house. She's, af she's afraid of the stove, she's afraid of the computer. I mean, she used to be a stray cat, so that's understandable. Okay, it's done! Nice! They finished their project! Okay, so we know, let's go and clean this. I, I think we've already done this one, so it's going to go into Natalie's inventory. We know she's feeling really nice, she just needs some fun. Uh, I think we're gonna do the laundry tomorrow? Yeah, maybe in the next part we're gonna do the laundry. First time ever Willow is going to be doing some laundry. This is going to be interesting. No, Willow, you don't need to eat anymore. You've already eaten. You can stop that. Stop. Where did you put... <clears throat> Sorry, where did you put your food? Alright, you put it here. Uh, let's go put that away and that away as well. And then th I think then that we're gonna go and travel with the good timers. We can leave Natal and Amy here. I mean, Willow has no real suspicion that something is happening between the two. So that's alright. Okay, so we're gonna go and start a gathering with the good timers and we're gonna go at the Shrieking Llama. Alright, so we just arrived. Willow, I need for you to change your outfits. I mean, you don't need to be into your work outfits. Let's go into this one. I just really like this one. Uh, so let's go and, I don't know, she needs some fun, so maybe they can just all together play here, or no. I'd rather go downstairs, actually. Oh, we can go and play with Bella, actually. Play with... Maybe we can ask Dominic and Danielle to join us. 
Oh, look at Bella. She seemed so happy to see us today. They're best friends, right? And it's Alien Night tonight. And you know, we know she's been thinking a lot about a lot of things. She's been thinking about Richmond, Natal now, he's a teenager, and he went out last night, pretty late. She doesn't want to yell at him because she's been young as well, and she doesn't want to be that strict mother who will have a bad relationship with her son, just like she had with her parents, actually. She doesn't want to be that mother, that parent, she doesn't want to be like that. So she's been thinking a lot about Natal and how to deal with him as a teenager, especially now that he's in this mean phase and that he kind of doesn't care about anyone else but him. She's also been thinking about Dan and her relationship with him and she doesn't know how to go on with that. Does she really want to be in a relationship with someone or does she just want to have some fun with people? What does she want right now? She's really been thinking about all of this and now that she's gathering with the good timers, it's like she's away from all of those thoughts, you know? She doesn't think about anything else than just having fun right now. She's just enjoying the present moment, basically. So, I'm really happy for her to be here tonight and spend some time with them, with the good timers. I think the girls are winning, are they? Dominic couldn't keep up with Bella and Willow. He ended up losing 5-0. to zero. Wow, I knew it. Uh, what can they do now? Maybe they can play darts together. Play with Danielle, Bella and Dominic. We're still not really friends with Dominic. Maybe we need to get to know him a little bit more. Whoops. Yeah, we know she hasn't been playing that much with darts, so she's not really that good. <laughs> but that's alright. And as well, we're friends with Mila. We should actually ask Mila to join us. Can we ask her to join us? Dare to streak. No, no, no. Nope. Play with. Let's ask Mila to join us. Uh, no, we can't. So maybe she's already playing with us. So I think Willow, she's been thinking about maybe setting up a curfew for Natal because she... Even though she doesn't want to be the strict parents, she still wants to be aware of where her son is. She wants to know what he's doing with who he is. Because she's a mother and she still be she still worries about that kind of thing. So yeah, I think she's going to set up a curfew, but she's not going to be really, really strict on it. She just wants to to be aware of where Natalia is and show him that he has to be responsible. I mean, he's supposed to be responsible, but last night he wasn't really that responsible. But he didn't think about it, you know, he's... He thinks he's real, really mature, but he's a teenager and every teenager thinks that. So, I think we're going to set up a curfew when we are going to go back home. And I think that in the next part, we're going to have Willow have a really deep conversation with Natal about First of all, giving him the woohoo talk, but also set up some rules. Have him respect a curfew, but also respect what he says. And try to work through this kind of mean phase that he's going on, or going through, basically. So, yeah, we're gonna have to work on that. And also, we know she still needs to figure out how things are could go with Dan and she also wants to know why she's been thinking so much about Richmond lately. She still needs to figure out a few things before make a choice. She still needs to think a little bit more about what to do with her life. So yeah, in any case, I think I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!